Oftentimes I tell people if they're building their brand and they are working within a budget, they're not really someone who wants to learn how to become a designer, I tell them often to visit creativemarket.com. Creative Market really allows you to find anything and everything that you need visually, and it's it's basically created by other artists. So I, as an artist, could get on and have my own account, upload different things that I make, and then you can purchase them. So you have photos, graphics, which include icons, illustrations, objects, patterns, product, mock-ups, textures, web elements, all the way to templates that are actually pre-designed themes for your website, different fonts, add-ons for Photoshop or Lightroom, and it goes all the way into 3D objects, which is really cool. So I actually pre-downloaded a few want, a few um, assets that I'm going to show you how to actually use. And so I'm going to open up my, my Finder, and I have vector icons, a font, and a t-shirt mock-up that I'm going to show you how to use. The first one is going to be really simple. It's the font. So you're going to double-click your zip file, and that really opens up um, different different files that the person who created this wants you to have. And so this is uh, two different font types. It doesn't really matter for you. I'm not going to get into the details behind them, but I'm going to just double click this OTF file. And if I double click it, it's going to pop up and ask me to install it. I think I already have this installed, so it probably will tell me that there's an error. Um, yep, so it says one minor problem was found and that's because I already have it. But all you have to do is double click, give it a second, and it should read on any program that reads fonts on your computer. If you're using something like Canva and you have the upgraded version, you can upload your own fonts. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to upgrade to do that, but it's a really simple process. Um, if you have a non-Mac computer, I do not know how to do that, but I'm sure if you just do a quick Google search, it will tell you. The second time type of asset that I'm going to show you how to use are vector icons or any kind of vector. A vector is basically anything that is um, editable. It can be scaled really, really large or really small. It won't lose quality or resolution. And it's really just a very moldable shape. And so this is these are the icons that I downloaded. And so if you were creating something and you needed these party icons but you didn't necessarily want to pay someone, um, I'm pretty sure this was only a couple bucks. And so what I'm going to do is take that EPS file and I'm going to drag it into Illustrator. Illustrator is where you would actually edit the icons. If you don't have Illustrator and you have no desire to use them, you could just take this JPEG and split it up. You could load it into your phone, crop the icon that you need, um, but you're going to have limitations if you want to change colors and, and alter that. So. When I click this, you can see that it's selecting almost everything, but when I drag it over, you can see some of these weren't grouped together. In Illustrator, you'll want to highlight everything and go to Object on Group. And you're going to want to do this a couple of different times. You can start checking in. Um, sometimes you'll start to ungroup, and it only ungroups like the first layer, and then it keeps ungrouping from there. And so if you scroll in, here I can change the stroke width, so I can make this thicker. I can change the color, so if I wanted it to be red, I could make these be yellow, I could make this one blue, and so you have a lot of flexibility, and then you can basically just take all of these elements and put them in another Illustrator file, you can paste it into your Photoshop file, or if you want, you can export each individual icon after you've altered it as a PNG and load that into Canva. The last file that I'm going to show you how to alter is the mock-up. A lot of mock-ups, which basically allows you to put your logo on something or a design on something for a client if you're a creative person yourself, they end up being in Photoshop. So I'm going to open this Photoshop file, which is a t-shirt mock-up. And you can see here that there's this film grain on top, which just adds a little bit of a texture. Um, and then when you start looking at this layer panel, this is the wall color, so if you wanted this to be even darker or even brighter, you can change that. But once you go into the t-shirt folder, which basically you just push this little arrow, you want to find the layer that basically says paste your design here or op open this smart object. And so I'm going to double click this, and it's going to open up a new window 
with the design that's the sample artwork. Just for fun, I'm going to take this, let's just do this crown. I'm gonna change the color to white just to keep with the aesthetic of this mock-up. And I'm literally gonna copy and then just paste it in here. I wanna make sure that I'm pasting it as a smart object. And I'm going to basically just drag this up until it looks about the same centered. I'm going to hide the sample artwork or delete it, it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna click Command S or Save. A lot of these have this displacement PSD, so when I click OK, it's going to have me look for that file that came with the mock-up. So here you can see the displacement file. You're going to open it up, and that just really allows it to feel like it's sitting on an actual t-shirt. <coughs> Nothing will happen here, so you're just going to click out, and then here's where your mock-up shows up. If you decide you want it to be smaller, you'll just double click. I do Command T to transform or, or alter it. And with the Shift key pushed down, I'm going to center everything up. And maybe bring it up slightly because this is a t-shirt. Then I'm going to hit Save. It's going to ask me to find that file again every time. And then I'm going to click over here. And there we go. So from here, this is a great way if you want to pre-order, you know, get pre-sale orders up for something that you're selling. If you're a creative person um, and you want to mock something up for a client, these mock-ups are really great. It doesn't require you to hire a photographer. And if you have access to these programs, um, it can be really helpful. I would say if you have no desire to use Photoshop or Illustrator to do things like this, it can at least be a great place for you to buy a template and then send to a friend or a creative person to use. So just know that it's out there. You can take a lot of initiative and find something that you like and then ask someone to help you to make it. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll talk to you soon.